hello guys welcome to my youtube channel gis tips and tricks today in this tutorial we're gonna learn about how to digitize automatically of an area through the help of ai or artificial intelligence here we divide this tutorial into four parts first is area selection uh, second is a plugin installation and map flow and third is account creation and token generation and fourth is auto digitization through the help of map flow plugins here first i have select my study area uh, here I, I am using the google satellite image if you don't know about how to add or uh, google tile image in qgis check description box and um, information icon here i go to the uh, my study area area through the use of zoom to coordinate toolbar here you see this is a area of usa and this is a house of uh, house owner association property or hoa property so here I am using the tool for uh, auto digitization. Here first I have to choose a area for auto digitization. For choosing the area use uh, or create a polygon to your area. Here I am creating a polygon through the help of add new layer. Here I am uh, add my uh, polygon name all of you see guys i am uh, create my uh, polygon layer that is name is ay so here i am just change this properties as symbologies okay here first i have select my study area here i am selecting my study area roughly for tutorial purpose you can digitize your area uh, like your wish here you can see i am perfectly uh, create a parcel and now i add this plugin which is called map flow here i am typing the uh, name map flow here you can see this is the plugin i can install in my qgs here you can see the extract feature list that is building agriculture field forest roads construction site just click on install plugin button for install this plugin Here you can see this plugin installed uh, successfully. So just click on this uh, plugin. Here you can see one new window appear. Here you need a token number for further process. Here you have to need an account or create an account. So just click on the need account button and you redirect a page. Here just click on this link. here you can see the uh, web portal just uh, you have to log in or create a account here i am using the uh, temporary mail for uh, tutorial purpose
here this is my temporary mail I create a account through this temporary mail ID you can use your own mail ID Here you can see one verification mail is sent my mailbox. Here I am click verify your account button. Here you can see it's the thing. Here you have to click your profile button and then go to settings and go to API. Here you can see reset API tip, um, token. Just click on it. Here you can see one token generated. Just copy it and paste here this token option. Just click on login. Here you can see Mapflow plugins is logged in successfully. For create building footprint, just type a name like buildings. Here select the building option and go. I go to the go with defaults. Just click on start processing button and you will see. Here after finish all the process just double click on the building uh, or this icon you have to see the building footprint is generated automatically here you can see see the building footprints I mention one thing um, is that this building footprint is it's not 100% uh, accurate we have to must edit or receive the polygons but uh, 60 to 70% this polygons is uh, annotated properly the buildings Here I am changing the symbologies. Here you can see the different types of buildings. One more thing I have to show you. Here you can uh, detach the roads also. Here I am selecting the road and uh, go with the defaults and just click start processing. Okay, you have 
see the build road creation is successfully done just double click on it here you can see the roads here you can see the roads and building generate automatically through the help of map flow plugins the i mentioned one thing this tool not uh, uh, given you data 100 percent accurate but at much is is give you the uh, 60 to 70 percent accurate data but you have must to receive on edit the data for better accuracy if you have any question doubt regarding remote sensing and gis please mention and like comment and do subscribe my channel and share it with your friends thank you bye bye guys